This is my uh, day that I need to go ahead and um, moisturize my hair. It's in African threading right now. And it's been in, uh, the African threading has been in my hair about a week. So I'm going to leave it in another week, which would be two weeks total. But in the meantime, my scalp needs a little moisture in my hair. So I am just going to show you guys what I'm going to do as far as getting it back hydrated. What I do, I take a bottle. This is a uh, just a regular bottle. I put distilled water in it and I put um, my cinnamon essential oil in it. And I also put a little bit of uh, green tea oil, which is green tea. My scalp loves it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just spray it pretty much. Just going to saturate each part. So this is all I do pretty much every other week. Lately, I've been basically um, doing my hair every two weeks because I've been finding that it, the longer that it's growing, it's, you know, a lot more work to it. So it's just easier to put in African threading and leave it in for a week, which is protected for two weeks. I'm sorry, not a week, but two weeks. So I just find it's better for my hair right now. And by the way, this African thread that I have in my hair is actually yarn. It is not the thread that you use for needle sewing. It is yarn. Yarn is a little thicker and it actually, um, because my hair is so thick, it's thicker. It coats the, the hair a little better than that little thin thread. And it, it gives it an appearance almost like from a distance you would think maybe I have, I have twists in my hair and I don't. It's just African threading. At work I've had a few people come to me and say, wow, is that a uh, yarn? And I'm like, yeah. And they always compliment me and say, wow, that looks pretty nice. I bet it looks really nice when you take it loose. And I'm like, yeah, usually it does. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of compliments. So, like I say, this is week one of my African threading in it. And I'm just hydrating my hair. That's all I'm doing. And I'm pretty much going to leave it open. I'm not going to put a bag or nothing on it. And that's pretty much it. So my hair basically has the moisture, which is the water, has oils in it, and the tea, um, tea not tea tree oil, I'm sorry, <laughs> the cinnamon essential oil. And I usually sometimes put a, a, a maybe two to three drops of uh, oil of oregano. Oil of oregano really um, is an antimicrobial. So sometimes I put that in there because who knows what my scalp has, you know, sometimes I tend to scratch it and I shouldn't, but you know, germs and bacteria can still get on your scalp. So I have I put a little bit of that in there just to kind of kill anything that's on the surface of my scalp. So that's all I wanted to show you guys pretty much. Um, this is all I do and next week I am going to wash it. So you can see the length of the hair. Let's see. So yeah, this is the length. That's one part. And the texture. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's pretty much it, y'all. And you know what? And the cinnamon uh, essential oil smells really good. You can use your own essential oil. And that's all I do. So next week I'll be washing it. I'll be using my shampoo bar. I have a homemade conditioner that I make and I leave that on for a few hours. And then once I wash all that out, I have my um, 
my oils, my green tea oil that I put on my scalp and I use it faithfully and I massage that in my scalp really good. Um, I have other oils, my rosemary, my nettle, my horsetail, but sometimes I try to use the Shea Bay oil. I put that in my pomade along with the powder. Just a little bit in my pomade. I have not been using a lot of Shea Bay, oil, um, Shea Bay powder in my pomade because I just try to minimize the grittiness. But I do use the oil, um, which doesn't have any of the grittiness in it. And um, I basically do the lock method. My hair is nice and moisturized and I just put the oils on there and then I put the um, pomade. And then I twist it, let it dry. And then a few hours later, I use this pretty much the distilled water, the cinnamon, um, essential oil and my tea tree, um, I keep saying tea tree oil, <laughs> my green tea oil and um, I re-moisture my hair and I also I make sure I make sure this is very warm, I mean really warm. So I use, I try to re-moisture the hair again and that's when I put the African threading on it after that. And that's, that's pretty much my routine. So I just wanted to briefly show you guys this. This is uh, what I'm doing here. So I will be talking to you guys soon in another video. I got a few up upcoming videos. This is just a brief video. So I uh, love you guys. And as always, be natural, stay natural. And I'll see you next time. Take care and God bless you.